Hey guys, this is Brian over at Obedia, and uh, I'm going to continue talking today about Personas' Studio One Digital Audio Workstation. Today I'm going to show you real quickly how to make use of the SoundCloud integration in Studio One. Now, uh, SoundCloud, in case you haven't used it before, is a new, uh, relatively new, online music sharing site uh, that's gaining a lot of steam, mostly because uh, it gives users a very cool, quick, easy way to upload their tracks to the web and share them with others and uh, also to have other people comment and uh, share their thoughts on their music. Studio One is, as far as I know, uh, the only digital audio workstation so far that is making use of SoundCloud and uh, I think a lot of others are going to need to follow in its footsteps because SoundCloud uh, is really here to stay at this point. So. Um, so in Studio One, you can, of course, create your songs, uh, you know, and call them up from the wizard page, which I've talked about many times, the, the opening wizard page. Um, but there's two ways to access SoundCloud and send these songs uh, to SoundCloud after you've created them and mixed them down and exported out their final versions in Studio One. So if you're in Studio One, one way that you can access SoundCloud is by clicking on the Studio One uh, context menu and then clicking SoundCloud client. This will open up the SoundCloud upload client. Now the other way you can do that is from the wizard window you can just click the SoundCloud icon. That'll open up the SoundCloud client as well. So all you want to do on the, at this point is uh, go ahead and click on the connect with SoundCloud button and when you do that this is going to bring up the OAuth authorization uh, page with soundcloud.com and here you can just enter your uh, SoundCloud credentials, enter your email address and uh, the information that you used to set up your SoundCloud account. Hit the authorize button. This is going to give you a authorization code and now you just want to go ahead take these numbers and then you're going to want to drop them back into the authorization wizard in uh, Studio One. Click on that, paste them in, hit the authorize button and that's going to link up your SoundCloud account to Persona Studio One. And uh, that allows you to quickly and easily upload files to your SoundCloud account. And then you just need to add tracks that you want to upload to your SoundCloud ac account. To do that, just click on the Add Tracks button. That'll open up the dialog box for adding tracks. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select a track right here. Once the track loads up, all you really need to do is edit the title information if you want. Uh, you can add artwork, which is very cool. Uh, you can choose a track type, whether it's a cover, a demo, a remix, things like that. Enter the BPM. You can even enter the key that it's in. Um, and so, and then one very important thing here is to mark this track whether or not you want it to be available publicly. Um, because you can set tracks up in SoundCloud to only be available to people who subscribe to uh, your music feed in SoundCloud. But if you want to make it public, uh, anyone who accesses your SoundCloud page or account will be able to listen to the music. Um, so you can just enter all the information right here, uh, title, things like that. Under the more info, this is where you can get a lot more complex about you know where to purchase the, uh, the MP3, the label that you're part of, uh, things like that. And uh, you can also make the original file downloadable, which is cool. Um, there is another option right here that says, you'll notice it says, allow external streams at 128 kbps. Now, what this is, is this takes your file that you upload um, to SoundCloud, and it'll convert it to a 128 kilobyte per second file. And that just makes it easier for it to stream from SoundCloud. Uh, it creates a smaller file. It does create a more compressed file, so there may be some loss of sound quality, but it does create a much smaller, easier to stream file. After you've done all of those configurations to your uh, SoundCloud file that you're going to be uploading, all you need to do is click on the Upload button, and that will send the file over to your SoundCloud account. And of course, you can check it out on your SoundCloud uh, web page. So that's, that's it for uh, SoundCloud integration in Studio One. Again, as I say, it's very quick, it's very easy. Um, and it is something that I think a lot of other digital audio workstations are going to want to start making use of 
especially as remixing and sharing music becomes more and more popular, it's very cool to have a quick and easy way to be able to just send your music to the internet, and you can do it all from within your DAW on Studio One. As always, you can get in touch with me at brian at obedia.com. You can find me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash obediatutor. And uh, I will be doing more of these tutorials as time goes along. If you have any questions or anything else you'd like to see me cover, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, of course. And also, if you're interested in our tutoring features from Obedia, please do get in touch with us at obedia.com forward slash register. We do offer uh, sign-up bonuses and many, many other great ways to help you work with your audio software. Thanks as always, and I will catch you again soon. Hey, hey, hey.